welcome back to the committee. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you. Good, uh, good evening. And um, I just want to say just a few, just, just a few things because this really bothers me. I have been doing protests since I was in high school. And it was the same, um, just like uh, 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 Mr. Hall mentioned about Selma. If we cannot protest injustice, how are we to change? How, how, how are we to effect change? What are you going to do? You're going to make us all criminals because we get your attention? That's what, that, that's what civil disobedience is supposed to do. And it's civil disobedience. It was, I was there that night when they were at the school. Was, was not, was a, there wasn't anything reckless about those kids. They handled themselves in a very, in, you know, in, in a very mature and professional manner. I did not know that they were going to go down on the highway. Would I have went? Yes, I would have. I would have been there too. I've been arrested before for civil disobedience. I got no problem with it because we have to be heard. We are second class citizens. And we're tired, sick and tired of being second class citizens. That was a national <laughs> movement to protest someone, a, a black child, getting killed for no reason. And, if, and, when, and when it comes to a point where we can't um, express our opinion and do something about it, when that time comes and we cannot do that, we might as well be back in slavery time. We might as well be right back there. This law will start that, or this bill will start that. I urge the committee to vote this bill down and not to consider it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Any questions? Um, I'm also in, uh, want to talk against uh, this, this bill. If there are laws already on the books, why not just enforce the laws that are there? You're making criminals out of people who want to have a better life, who want a, who want a piece of the pie, who want a piece of the American dream. That's something that you're not supposed to do. We should, we should as we have, um, have the means of peaceful protests to talk about something or to draw attention to something that is not fair, that is just outdated. You know, um, uh, Representative Canary talked about restricting the uh, restricted movement of the cars on the highway. Well, now you know how we feel. We're restricted. Um, all minorities are restricted in our movement throughout society and how to get someplace, how to get education. You know, things are a little bit better. I'm in my 60s now. So I remember when they, I remember when they closed down all black schools and uh, integrated and all that. I remember all that stuff. Things are a little better now. But you know what? It's still so ingrained institutionally, the racism, that we still have to maintain a way where we can talk or get your attention so that we can voice our opinion. You're not listening to us. They won't listen to us. So that was that the way the way I was told from one of the young men that I talked to at the high school about that protest. This was orchestrated throughout the country. Boston and Providence were not the only were not the only protesters that took to the highways or to the freeways. This was something that was set up, and people talked about it uh, over a long period of time, trying to trying to get this set up. Um, you're talking about uh, um, about um, uh, uh, people being safe. Be people being safe. Let me tell you something. The '60s, the '50s, those pro those protests. How many people were safe? Actually, they brought out the dogs, water hoses, and all and, and all that. And that was the police doing that. And those were peaceful, civ uh, civil disobedient protests. Of people with no weapons, of people with, uh, you know, there, there wasn't criminals at the, uh, at, at, at the front. These were preachers, teachers. If we cannot have, if we cannot have the right to, to, uh, to protest when necessary, then we have nothing. We might as well tear up the book and start all over again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Can we hear from...